Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 1st of 2023 well, it is titled NGC 2442, Galaxy in Volans. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a galaxy, and this would be a barred spiral galaxy. We can see how it seems to have a bar going through its center and not direct swirls down toward the uh, core of the galaxy. Now it is a spiral galaxy. We see, of course, the spiral structure, but we also see the other telltale signs of a spiral galaxy, the distinct blue color, especially in the outer portions of the spiral arms caused by hot young stars which have formed. And we see the pinkish color of hydrogen regions where hydrogen gas is being energized by the ultraviolet light from those hot stars. Now one thing that we also notice especially the upper arm here seems distorted and when we see distortions in galaxies we find that is often due to a collision that has occurred. Now we see another galaxy off to the upper left and it's considered that this galaxy probably interacted with the larger galaxy at some point and that would have distorted it and the galaxy is now settling back down so if we could wait another billion years or so, we might be able to see that the galaxy just settles down to look like an ordinary barred spiral galaxy again. However, we also have to look at the exact motion. Some galaxies pass by each other multiple times and eventually merge. So it all depends on how the galaxies are moving relative to each other. But when they do pass by, the stars never collide. It is the gravitational fields that interact and distort both of the galaxies, giving them unusual shapes from what we would normally expect. So when we look at a galaxy and we see something like this, we can imply that there has been some kind of collision in the past, although it may have been long ago and the galaxy is still just settling down from that collision that it may have occurred a long time ago. Now, we also see in this field a lot of foreground stars from within our own Milky Way. And you can see the stars as differentiated from galaxies with the diffraction spikes going through them. Those are stars that are much closer within our own galaxy, whereas NGC 2442 is about 50 million light years away. We would be looking at stars that could be hundreds or thousands of light years away, much, much closer to us. Note that we see distinct colors to them as well. Some of the stars are very red and some are blue. That is giving us an idea of the temperature. And if you wanted to order these stars in, in order of temperature, you would pick the bluest one would be the hottest star. It's emitting the most short wavelength light. And that means it is the hottest star. And then you would look down through the ones that go from blue, lighter shades of blue to white into an orange to a red. And the deeper red color that you see means that this would be the coolest star that you're seeing. So the colors of the stars can give us a rough idea of the temperature, which is quite different than what we see with the colors in the galaxy. It's not telling us anything about the temperature of the galaxy. In one case, it is telling us about hot stars present. In the other case, the red is just a specific glow of hydrogen gas having nothing to do with the temperature. So that was our picture of the day for April 1st of 2023. It was titled NGC 2442 Galaxy in Volans. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Messier 57. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.